Ideas for your lead magnet. Yes, it's me, it's John. It's Friday. It's the Marketing for Owners podcast. Friday, that means the weekend challenge. For all of you who are unaware of what a weekend challenge is, go to the website. Go to marketingforowners.com forward slash challenge. Yes, there are many because we're on episode 390. And as there's one every Friday, there's lots and they're all recorded there. That's where we give ourselves a little bit of a little challenge over the weekend. Take our minds away from the normal work and give us something to prepare for next week. So we're talking about lead magnets today. Now I've mentioned lead magnets before, so hopefully you've been listening and know what one is. But for those of you that don't, quite simply, the interwebs and the internet marketing and so on, and having a website, the entire purpose of it, unless you're uh, an e-commerce site like Amazon or like my fire safety site, uh, something like, for instance, marketing for owners that doesn't just dive in there and sell you something, then the entire purpose of that website is lead generation. And lead generation is not hoping someone will find your website, hoping they will read it, hoping they will go to the contact us page and filling in your email form or perhaps waiting to the next day and ringing you up. No. Lead generation is getting their name or their email at least their email, onto a list, onto a database, and all in an automated fashion, because that's the way to do it. Now, generally, we do that by offering something of value that the person, or your potential lead, your potential customer, has an interest in, and would probably be prepared to pay for, but is certainly prepared to exchange their email for. So in other words, to give you permission to market to them. And that's where the lead magnet comes in. And we call it a lead magnet because it attracts leads like a magnet. Of course, then we work on lead nurturing to convert them into a purchaser. And so it goes. But a lot of people get worked up and stuck on ideas for lead magnets because quite often you're comparing them to things you've seen elsewhere. Now, for instance, if you want to see an example of one of ours, we have various at Marketing for Owners. Go to this website, or this URL, at freemarketingcourse.co. Now, that is one of ours, and that is a 12-day one that shows you our entire marketing course, including uh, advice on lead magnets and examples of lead magnets. But that can make it a little overwhelming. You don't need to do that. And of course, there are ones where you download an ebook and it's like two, 300 pages, an entire ebook. I used to print these out and they're massive. And quite often, I print them out and think, I'll read that later. Never get to read it. It's too big. So here we go. Get your pen, get your piece of paper, get all your pad and get ready to write. Remember, if you want to, uh, if you want to come back to this, if you're driving and, and haven't got a piece of paper in front of you, go to Marketing for Owners slash podcast slash 390. A bucket just fell down behind me. I'm in the garage or garage, uh, but a bucket just fell down behind me. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. Anyway, number one, are you ready? Number one, this is the easiest of the easiest of the easy. A top five resource guide. So for example, if you are a photographer, your top five uh, piece, bits of photography gear that you would take on a holiday, or the top five um, gear list that is in your bag, in your photography bag, or um, a top five uh, items for keeping your gear clean, that kind of stuff. Easy. Now you think, why would anyone, if anyone's looking for a photographer, why would they want that? Quite often people have an interest in photography, they want an expert, and they want still want a photographer, but they want to know you're really good, and they're just interested, what do you use? It's all related to photography stuff, so it works. So that's as simple as simple can be. Um, in fact, if you go to ours, go to marketingforowners.com slash tools, I think you'll find a list there. 
Uh, and, and that's not an opt-in. But I think if you pop down the list, there's probably more. If you go to marketingforowners.com slash 71, then that's our top 71 guide, which is a little bit more meaty. But you seriously don't need that many. Number two, top five most popular posts. And I mean the top five most popular posts on your website. So to save people having to wade through, they just want to be told, oh, which ones does everyone find the most popular? I'll read those. All you've got to do is paste the links to them. How easy is that? You can write a little summary of each and give a little picture. But a, a one page, a one piece of paper or equivalent of, then saved as a PDF. And if you don't know how to create a PDF, when you go into print, there's generally an option to save as PDF. But if you get a free thing like um, a cute PDF or whatever, just, just Google free PDF download. There's lots of them, really. If you've got an Apple or a Mac, it just that's one of the options when you print. Number three, how about writing down a lot of information, a lot of questions, and then getting a colleague or someone you know to interview you. They can interview you on a camera or interview you on an iPhone like this or on audio. And that can be created, that can be sub transcribed, go to Fiverr, cost you $5, um, get it transcribed, or just put the video up on YouTube. If you want to get it edited, get it edited on Fiverr. But honestly, piece of cake, just do that. Get interviewed, make the questions up, be relevant, give answers to things that will uh, answer people in your niche, potential customers. And what could be easier? Totally free, this stuff. Number four, how to save money checklist. So, for example, for, uh, I say uh, we sell fire extinguishers and fire safety equipment. How about um, how to save money when purchasing your fire safety? And we can give a checklist, say, um, for instance, only buy from reputable companies, only do this, make sure this, never allow uh, somebody to install anything without uh, getting your approval first, and all these kind of things, just a list from your industry knowledge. And don't tell me people do not want to know how to save money when purchasing from you. They do. And if you are going to tell them, how, how about that for transparency and honesty? They'll love you. Trust me. That kind of stuff works. Openness, transparency, pricing. People like to know. Number five, facts and myths listing. Now, again, an industry guide. So if, uh, again, if you're, say, if you're in that fire safety thing, how about the facts and myths of the fire safety industry? <gasps> Da, da, da. Yes, shocker. So you can give them all the facts and the myths. So for example, in ours, one of the myths is the British standard for servicing fire extinguishers is not a legal requirement. It is advice. It's not the law. And things like that. That's uh, So that could be put down as either a fact or a myth. You can have a list of facts and a list of myths. People love lists. And they love to know stuff like that. And it all, it, all this leads to show them that you are an expert. Not only are you helping them, but you're an expert. It's brilliant. It's easy. And number six, one of my favourites, and you can get this from us too. A free one-on-one -on -one session with you or with one of your staff, obviously a top-notch staff. And you think, free one-on-one -on -one session? What? But give me a break. If you're a business coach or, a, uh, or you sell services or give advice or whatever, you would gladly go and give them a quote, wouldn't you? you if someone phoned out and said, can you come visit us and give me a price? Of course you would. So why don't you call that a one-to-one -one, uh, consultancy? Why don't you talk to them? Why don't you give them an audit or something like that? Let them sign up. That's for free. Advertising costs money. Someone who wants you face-to-face -face chose to book a time with you. That's better than someone answering an ad. That's fantastic. And it gives you an opportunity to find out what their problems are, what you can, how you can solve their problems. You can tell them and then you can offer them a price if it's appropriate. Now there are some simple lead magnets and all of those should be via an opt-in where people sign in and give their email 
to get them. Hey presto, you are list building and you are building some a list of people that, that you can then talk to via email and get them over time to know, like and trust you and then they will gradually be ready. Uh, after they trust you, they will be ready and open to an offer, an opportunity to purchase and become a customer. And that's what we're after. Yeah, if you want to know more, if you go to the website, if you look uh, at the top or in the menu, whether you're on a mobile, open the menu up, um, if you'll find other products, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Me, yeah, me, John Butt. I don't care where you are in the world. It just takes you to a calendar. You can book a time at your convenience. I will contact you. Um, I can tell you how I can help you. How about that? That's it for today. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I bet you it's going to be a sunny one. Unless you live somewhere where it's not going to be sunny. Down under, for instance. Sorry about that. But it's going to be sunny for us in the Northern Hemisphere. It's going to be lovely. I will be back on Monday. Have a great weekend.